There you have it. Uh, one other hot topic that's been going on recently is the Olympics. If you yeah. live under rock, you didn't know they were going on. They're, They're going happening. on. Here's the thing, though. Like, I, I don't know what's happened to where... And it ha- a part of it's the fact there's no fans. Yeah. And a lot of it's part of the fact that they're in such a different time zone. So, like, things are... I'm getting alerts on my phone that gold medal's been won for events that I care about. And it happened at, like, 2 in the morning. So You like, need to turn those alerts off. I just learned that we won the three-on-three basketball for the men's no, gold. I don't care about that. This is um, a pickup game. But regardless, like, and I guess it, part of it, too, is, like... I feel like my family, when the Olympics were on, like my family would just have the TV on in the evening. We would just watch the Olympics, what we did. But like nowadays, I don't know. I haven't really watched a ton. I've turned it um, on every night. But did I tried the moment where the, uh, sorry, you keep going. No, keep going. <laughs> I, I was more interested in your story. The moment where the 17 year old from Alaska won a gold medal. That I think was, it's like Lydia yeah. Jacoby Smith or something like well, that. Yeah. There's literally, what was there's, it for? there's literally a 13 year old that won gold in skateboarding. Well, I was saying the moment. Oh, that no. she, it will happen. Did no. you see? It? Okay. Okay. What was? Okay. There's just when she won, they had like a huge watch party in Alaska at like like uh, at a I think it's just like a bar or something, but it was like the whole town was there, and they were just losing their mind. That's, that's awesome. awesome. And she also like didn't realize she won, so she finished and like turned around to look up at the board. She's a swimmer, right? Yeah. And yeah. she like she finished swimming, hit the thing, turned around, looked up at the board, and saw it's her like name. The, she went. It was like the hundred meter breaststroke. Yeah, something like that. Here's the thing. See, I just love the Olympics for stuff like that. I love Olympic swimming. I did see Katie Ledecky lost the 200 meter last night, which is a little... No, it wasn't last night. It was like two nights ago to Titmus, Australian. I just got the alert yesterday. Yesterday evening. It was yesterday. Which one? I mean, unless... She won, and then she won the... No, it was the the 400. I'm talking about the 400. That's what I'm thinking of. She lost the 400? I'm almost positive to tip. Why are we talking about this right now? Doesn't That's, matter. Okay, she I'm won, bringing it up. Anyway, she went. Anyways, the Olympics <laughs> have just been interesting. You know what's really interesting about the Olympics this year is that TikTok exists. So you have all these yeah, Olympic I've athletes, seen a lot of that. and they're all yeah. She lost the 400. Oh my! To Titmus. Gosh, Australia. That's. Did you not see the clip of she was like her un, coach? She was like unbeatable. Yeah, that's so weird. Did you see I Titmus's mean, she, coach? Oh yeah, that's the <laughs> he one like that, freaks that's out. That's the one that blew up of him like yeah. losing his mind. Well, basically, what I heard is like she when she started swimming was when Ledecky was like, you know, being dominant. Yeah, and so she was like watching her. There's always somebody younger, and she was like Unless wanted she wanted to be be her, and then went to like the world championships in like 2018. It might have been, and was like half a body length behind her, and she's like that was when I realized I'm like holy cow, like. It I can actually so, do this. It is so hard to have longevity. And I think she might have beat her at the last World Championship or something like that. And so then it, going into like all her own goal, only goal was to win the 400. And it was a thrilling race. It is so difficult it was amazing. to have I'm longevity. I'm getting chills just talking about it again. Wow, you're a traitor. I think it's treason. But um, I mean, it's Australia. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for a massive Southern California. What? Australia. It's just like a big Southern California. Okay. I guess you've been there. So you feel like you're a local now? Yeah, you know. Vegemite and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but no, yeah, I just like I like rooting for underdogs. Okay, I he's just that. here for good golf, man. I'm just here for good golf. He's just here for good golf. Well, why did you bring up the Olympics, Hunter? Well, I was just to say this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it wasn't to talk about swimming. No, we just went down a rabbit hole. It was because every four years the disc golf being in the Olympics gets brought up, and I'm gonna be honest because I don't see this. I don't see this take out there much. Yeah. I don't really understand what's the big draw into getting the disc golf into the Olympics. I yeah. don't I don't I don't see where it would be a huge benefit because it's to cool. us. It'd be cool. We would care. Disc golfers would care. Here's the thing mm-hmm. about the Olympics. I'm almost starting to lose respect for the Olympics when I see some of the sports that are being added, such as breakdancing. That's a real Olympic sport. What? Uh, How dare you? Yeah. Breakdancing's sick. No, it's so stupid. It's yeah, like, but it's not a sport. And though. like it's an it's art. And, it's and a and performance. Like, Just like yeah. the gymnastics when they have the uh um, I, mean, I guess the, that's, the I guess that's the a point. The rhythmic one, gymnastics. Well, where they throw no, the ball but they catch rhythmic. in their feet. Not that's pretty rhythmic. cool. <laughs> he, um, I gotta like that. Simone does it every year. Like the freestyle. What, yeah, like, like the freestyle. Is that on the floor? Yeah, same type thing. What did I wait? What were we comparing that to? Break dancing. Break dancing to to doing like quadruple flips in the mid air. 
I would say that breakdancing is, I was about to say it's not like a physical activity, but it is. It's very yeah. physical. You've got to be in very good shape. That's and what I'm saying. But it's still, I feel like it should remain on the Here's fine the other arts side. Too. We also added world. three on three basketball. That's and, a joke. And it looks so stupid. The clips from it are look awful because here's the thing. The athletes playing in the three on three basketball teams are not the best. No. The whole point of the Olympics is like you send the best athletes. If you yeah. add three on three basketball, you need take away basketball. Yeah, our best basketball players and everybody's best basketball players are not playing. In and honestly, that would be way more fun. Three just three no, on three basketball. It didn't. It It'd didn't be way look, more competitive. It didn't look that fun. Okay, but imagine <laughs> if it was Kevin Durant, it was LeBron court, James, maybe. And, but like, it just looked kind of dumb the way they had the rules set. It just, you don't realize when you're playing in your backyard or whatever, like that it, on a professional stage, it just doesn't quite. It, it was very dumb to add it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I just think the Olympics is getting a little carried away. It's like disc golf. Honestly, if you throw it in now, it probably every people would just scoff at it like they are with these other sports. But so. my thing is, we would get zero airtime. Yeah, the only people that would care about disc golf would be the disc golfers, who would be. I don't even know how you'd end up watching it. Because like, how know. do you watch handball? Handball was on TV the other day. How do you watch? What's that? What's that horse thing where they're like tiptoe sideways? Was also on TV. The I just other day. saw like a highlight of it. It's the only way I even knew it was the Olympics. How is that in the Olympics? Like what? Like what are we doing? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Is there's a lot of <laughs> the sports Olympic that disc golf is, is probably. There's a lot of sports that I would bet disc golf is bigger than that are in the Olympics. Probably. So like, why aren't those sports blowing like, up? Yeah, I mean. You're right. It's not. It wouldn't do that. It would just be like a. That's cool. And here's the other thing. It wouldn't hurt. No, it wouldn't. But hurt. it's certainly not going to be like to get disc golf on the map. We, yeah, but it's just like every four years, people are like, "Oh my word! Imagine, just imagine if disc golf was in the Olympics." Yeah. Like what? We're who's a little golf too late in the Olympics? That. What's like what? Who's even? What? What's even going on with golf in the Olympics? It's the thing. I mean, it I know was, it's a thing. I like, watched it quite a bit of Olympic golf. Like it was covered very heavily uh, last Olympics. I don't know when they. I don't know if they started yet. I don't think they have. But Olympic golf, I mean, they just play. It's literally like a four-round tournament. Oh.